Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross Radical Dreamers Edition. Now, off screen, I did do a few things. <coughs> Excuse me. Mostly I went around and got everyone up to iron tier as best as I could. There are still some people stuck in copper, but my main group is iron. So we, we're doing pretty good. Um, also, hold on a second. Okay, so, um, after you get the SS Invincible to move, you know, after you do the, all that fun stuff, a new shop opens up in Marble. It is the Trap Shop. Uh, you can buy a bunch of traps there, which are very useful. Um, unfortunately, we're unable to equip them at this point in time, because you need at least a level 7 slot. Uh, but you can also get, uh, Tornado, uh, Sonja, Summon. Uh, Free Fall, Mothership. Red Wolf, Iceberg, uh, Volcano, Holy Light, Unicorn, Earthquake, you can get a bunch of stuff. Um, I would advise against element grinding for summons for a while, because you obviously can't. But at least get uh, Holy Light, Volcano, and Iceberg. These three uh, traps are going to be useful uh, coming up. So yeah, keep that in mind. Let's go! There are some bosses coming up in the near future that use these elements, so we want to uh, have them ready to go. Um, we are doing a bunch of side stuff, or a few side stuff, and then on to the main story. So, um, Hydra Marsh's homeworld. We were originally supposed to come here to save Kid, but. Can't, couldn't. Everybody down, something big's heading our way. So we're going to cover some of the side stuffs that are available. What was that thing? I cannot believe this place. Alright, let's loot this. Ah. Fair enough. Did you see that strange looking creature up ahead? It takes him a bit of time to get out of here, so. This Biba no place for humans, Biba. Go away, Biba off. Fuck you! Go Biba yourself. Alright, so. I'm not sure if it's gonna count on this version, right now at least. Um. This was originally a boss fight if you came here uh, to save a kid. Not sure if he still is. But. Uh, he could drop a fur. Or rarely drop on upheaval. You can also steal a tablet or a copper from him. Even to Biba, Biba call friend. Call him back up. You can um, one turn him if you're quick, if you're strong enough. Usually only new game plus. So uh, Biba off. Guys are in the yellow. Yep. Nothing's gonna hurt them. Nice. If I had left that uh, first people up, uh, he was summoned another one. He summons up three. Let's uh. Dash, gash him. Oice! Why the hell not? Enough? Ah, damn. Of course, one that would have been enough. Alright, so he didn't count as a boss. That's annoying. 
I'm being very sorry. Here, I gave you this. Please forgive Biba. This Biba flute that is hand down to Biba family. It Biba magical, it calls Wingipede. It makes Wingipede Biba good Wingipede. Best be used in a wide open space. Obviously, Biba seeing ya. Biba flute. I'll try to blow on the flute here, Surge. Not wide enough open space, so. We want to blow it up here. By the way, that um box is a push basher. Wide open space, can this be it? So there's one trap on that flute. Let's get to the center of this. Ah, I hate this thing. So this is the wing beat. It's actually smaller than I thought. So there's one strike feeding it something. You didn't seem to like that. So, wing beat. Roughly 430 HP. You can drop an area sauce or leather. Uh, you can't steal anything from it. However, comma, in New Game Plus, if you have enough element for it, or if you come back here later, I think you can do it, uh, you can grind the Wigipede for Tornado, which is a high-level uh, element spell, a uh, green spell. He likes to poison us, as well. <laughs> Alright, let's poison, of course. Not bad. Uh, where is... Oh, oh, not people. It's already almost dead. <laughs> Fuck you, Wicked Pete. The question is, will it count as a boss? It should. It didn't. It does if you come here to save kid. Let's cure that bullshit. But we'll give away at any minute. Surge, we should avoid passing through the middle. Ah, fuck that noise. And that is Madame Pentapus. She would have been a um, really interesting boss fight earlier on, but uh, we can't really fight her. Basically due to the fact that we went to save Kid, it took a lot longer for us to get here, so events uh, that would have happened are different. We would have found someone stuck inside this cage, and we could have saved them. Um, in order to, uh, and, and beat Madame Pentapus. But since we took so long, we kind of could. There we go. Hold on a second. <laughs> also, since it took us so long to get here, the Hydra that was the Guardian of the Spores is now slain. And, um, some other person was able to make off with the humor and all the other fun stuff. I should be able to... Yep, yeah, there we go. That's all we want to do here. We wanted to get the Biba Flute, and we wanted to uh, kill the Wicked So, since that's done, may cause a bit of lag. I'm going to the next location. Throw that. 
that. Here we are. So I didn't do anything with uh, Pip off screen. I had intended to, but I decided uh, as I was about to sit down and start doing it to uh, do it later. Um, when I have more stuff I can do. Alright then, so, War Dragon Island is the next location. That's nice music. Excuse me! Gotta talk to you. How'd you search? Great day, huh? How's your day been? What was that? You wanna go to Wild Dragon Island? Yeah, sure. Please take me. Great. Shall we get going? Yeah, we don't have a boat in this world, so... Basically, there's a character in this game. It was the one who we would have met at Madame Pentaplus. Her name is Razzly. Um, she has one of the more annoying level 7 techs to get. Um, in order to get it, you need to have not used her in the battle against the Hydra, but bring her here during the series of events here. And uh, later on, you'll be able to get her level 7 tech. Some techs, by the way, you can only get by doing certain events. Others you get by doing, um, uh, just by leveling up. For example, Surge, you get his at uh, star level 35, I believe it is. And Kid, you have to get by doing a side quest. So just a little uh, thing to keep an eye out for. Right, onwards and upwards. The place is being besieged by dwarves. What brings humans here? If you intend to intrude, you will not be given a warm welcome. The land's now the home of the dwarves. Humans are not welcome here. Be gone with yourselves. The dwarves used to live uh, alongside the Hydra in the forest. And since humans invaded to kill the Hydra, they've been pushed out. Let's help the fairies! Although we don't have to. Bear in mind, all of this is technically optional. We do not have to help, we do not have to come here at all. We can go through um, Mount Pyre without uh, the blessing of the dragons, as they refer to it. It's just a lot better to do it. Daffy Dwarf. That um, Chrono Cross is getting a, a good, a good uh, positive reception. Now. Um, I look back at first, the first set upload, which, by the way, this set is being recorded the day set one's going up. And uh, yeah, or not the day it went up. It, um, the Monday after, and it is, it's still good. I'm happy. I love Chrono Cross a lot, so I'm glad to see an, an entirely new generation. It's like, yeah, classics. 
will not tolerate any humans trespassing beyond this point. Defy me, and you will face the consequences. Fuck you! So... Let's see here. Oh, here of course. I forgot about this. They're group tech. Alright. So... Base-ass, base-ass, bitch-ass dwarf. You can get upheaval or copper from him. Daffy Dwarf, you can get Electric Bolt or Leather. And Daggy Dwarf, you can get Electric Jolt and Leather. Uh, dwarf can also steal an Iron or a Capsule. Daggy, you can steal a Tablet and an Iron. Or Daffy, Iron Capsule. This is a little, uh, heads up. Bam. Can you not? I am glad to uh, have gotten another cover all though. That's useful. Just crush all of you. Although one of the more annoying boss, early boss fights is coming up. Alright, let's get this uh, record of fate. Ah, uh, hurry up. I want to at least get to Fortragonia. If we get to Fortragonia, that's great. I believe we can make it. Alright. Let's uh, push back this motherfucker. Beautiful. 160. Saying. Alright, 
Come down. Sorry, I think that's thing. Okay. Yeah, let's put it this way with this upcoming boss fight. It was so annoying to young me that I actually wrote out its estimated HP and counted just so no, just so I knew how close I was killing it. That's how annoying this guy got to me. Defense by one, but I lose regular defense. Stand down. Screw that noise. So, human something very should surprise me. However, there is no way I can allow you to leave here alive. You will pay or not, or pay for not heeding or worrying with your lives. Is the Hiho Tank. So, the two dwarves on the side have 1,000, or not 1,000, 150 HP. You can steal, they can drop an upheaval or a copper. Uh, you can also steal iron or capsules from them. The tank uh, can drop a knee pad or an iron. You can also steal a screw or a knee pad from it. Um, always get rid of these motherfuckers first. They have the ability to heal the tank, we don't want that. Alright, that should... Yeah, take him down a little bit. That muscle shot, white. He can use any element as his, uh, cannon. And it's gonna be on Surge, so he's, a, he's gonna take half the damage anyway. Still hurts like a sum bitch. Alright, there goes that piece of shit. Now we can focus on the big piece of shit. High res, okay. That's defense. That's fine. I'll just throw elements at you then. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on. Oh boy. That's not good. Black elemental shot. Oh boy. Oh, it's on kid. We're fine. about the elements that actually uh, are opposing to us. Although I don't want a crit to hit. That would suck. Alright. Back for burst. Ominous. Fifteen, beautiful. Okay. Use her element against her. Go ahead. Still do one. Well, I now have two recover also. I don't mind doing this. Heal up Surge and Kid. They both kind of needed it. Blood? Okay, sure. Don't buy me none. 67. 
Damn. Close. Let's see if we can do. Let's see if we can do one better. Let's see if we can show him a real green element. That's a real green element attack. Oh, it's dying. It's twitching. I'm about to shot red. Okay. Why are you using the elements they're strong against? I remember when I was first fighting him. Not the first time I fought him. I don't remember that. I remember uh, younger. He just always seemed to use the element they were weak against. Like, bad. Nice. Run, run, run! We just killed him. Nice. Two people's in Nepad. Awesome! Strength are we to be driven off our land once again? Is there no place? Uh, is there no land on this uh, planet where we can live in peace? Oh, gods of fate, why were we dealt such a hand? Are humans really the greatest species on this planet? You know, you probably would have lived if you didn't pick a fight. These heretics of illusions, these destroyers of the planet. Eh. There's, there's a ferry over there. Search. Is it alright? Who are you? I'll be fine. The other fairies. Are they alright? I don't feel their presence in the cave anymore. I'm sure it's safe outside as well. We're sorry, but wait right here for a moment. When you go further into the cave, it'll only be a little while. That looks cool. I don't remember the dragon actually having an icon, though. <coughs> hmm. Now, need not explain. I know already what the secret is here. There's not to be surprised about. It's but a trifle for we sleeping dragons who li who have dwelt upon this land for ages. On Pyre, the land thou seeketh is home to the fire dragon. Unless thou quench his red blazes, it will prove a difficult journey. Take this, son of man. My breath can freeze even boiling lava. Thank you. Take my subordinate as well. It shall be useful in holding back the fire dragon of Mount Pyre. Alright, so any element with a star next to it represents a, um... Summon. Now, what's cool, what's interesting is, once you get a summon, no enemy in the game is allowed to summon it again, or is able to summon it. The concept being basically, you have control over that spirit, and nothing else can wrench it from you, pretty much. At least that's kind of how it, uh, the subtext of it. Um, so no enemy in the rest of the game is able to summon Frog Prince from this point forward. Which is good, because no enemy in the game summons Frog Prince. Like, you can go through the entire game, not get Frog Prince, and you will not find an enemy that will summon it. So... Which means the Frog Prince Trap Summon that is sold over in Marbule, utterly pointless. Uh, 
Wilt thou change this world, or wilt thou change thyself? Wilt thou live on with thy mother planet, or wilt thou turn thy back on the planet and thread in a, uh, tread another path? It said that they were chased out of the forest by the humans, and they drifted down to our island, so the humans are to blame. They didn't have to attack you. Because of you humans, our village, our friends, have been made victims. Again, had they decided, you know, hey, refugees, would you mind holding us up for a little bit until we find our own place? Instead, they're like, no, this is ours now. Why can't humans live in harmony with nature? Why do you continue to act the way you do? Don't see the outcome of your choices would be, uh, be in the future? Why? I hate all you wicked humans. Hurry up and get off this island. Very sad tragedy triggered by the acts of humans. We've lost so many of our people and our loved ones. And loved ones. Although our village has been saved, no one here thinks kindly of man. I'm extremely sorry, but please leave the island as soon as you can. Where am I? I fainted, huh? Sorry, did I wake you? I had a bad dream. Seeing that fairy's eyes filled with tears over losing her friends, that must have triggered memories of me on pass. I was an orphan. I was abandoned when I was a baby. There was someone who took me in and raised me as if I were her own little sister. I'm alive here today thanks to her. There are a lot of others like me at this place, and she was always making strange stuff. Didn't have money, but we were all happy. Alright, so obviously, it's Luca. You should know, we had Luca in that freaking picture. Um, I like that Luca ended up making an orphanage, but if if that's the Luca of my Chrono Trigger, she'd be rolling in the money. I always had a lot of fucking money by the end of the game. Up until that Link, Link's bastard came and shattered our happiness to pieces. Link's raided our house, burned it down, and kidnapped Sis. Sister never came back. Since then, I have wandered, this, uh, wandered the world and experienced so much pain just to get by. No one was there to help me. I was always alone. If you ask me, the idea of guardian angels watching over us all the time is a lot of rubbish. In this world, the underhanded always get the last laugh. Only the ones who don't think anything of hurting others end up getting what they want. The ones who kill, the ones who devour, they're the ones who survive. That's the only rule of this world. The great speeches of mankind, our wonderful world, filled with love and happiness. Don't make me laugh. But if that's how it is, that's fine with me. As long as I'm alive, there ain't no going back. I'll abide by this world's rules and do what I gotta do despite the rotten hand of the cards I've been dealt. I'll make sure that bloody bastard pays for what he's done. I will get even, no matter what it takes.
Poor kid. Poor Luca. Just go across this faster. What's going on? The old boatman is gone. Did he head back to the village because we were so late? I figured he'd come back soon, so I got the boat back, old boat out. I went to save Sam. Oh, may pardons. It didn't look like you were coming back before sunset, and I had to return before it got dark. Well, since you made it back in time, I guess you did what you needed to do. But you guys look a little, gloomy, a little too gloomy for it uh, to have gone well. Back to the village. Alright. Ah, <sighs> so much bullshit. Feel bad for a uh, kid growing up the way she did. Excuse me, kid. Alright, I forgot her name, so. Alright, time to head to Mount Pyre. is now selling recover alls at their element shop. And Termina is selling heal alls, which is a green variant of recover all. So let's head to uh, Termina and grab a few of those real quick. Excuse me. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you either. Heal all, there it is. Those. Uh, something else I can need. Uh, Always topping things off. Until I get a lot more gold, five is about the bare minimum of element numbers I want. I'll get a lot more just through, you know, process of the game, but, uh, five is a good base for an early game. Alright, so we now have two recover all magics, which is useful, or healing, uh, healing magics that recover everyone. Dark magic. Okay. Kid. Throw it here plus. And aqua beam. That should do it. Ultima Fire! <coughs> Excuse me. So like I said, um, you don't need to do the Water Dragon Island thing. Uh, you don't need um, Icy Breath to be able to get through all that. It just makes things a lot easier. Before we do go off though, we're going to head to Hermit's Hideaway. And do a little bit of prep work.
Grass very hot. Vegetation won't grow here. It won't grow here. So, grass cool down again. Vegetation cannot grow here again. That is seeding the future. Pun intended. Oh boy. Let's go. Alright, so, if we were to freeze the lava, by the way, that chest over there would become locked. So, we have to get hurt a little bit to get it. And as far as I know, that... That really hurts. Um, you can't, uh... Unfreeze the lava after you freeze it, so you gotta keep that in mind. Straight, reading ahead. Hey, cat burglar. What is cool though is if you freeze the lava, it actually ch shows up in the background here. If, if, if you don't freeze it, it's still boiling lava. Just a nice little uh, detail that they didn't have to do. Right? Yeah. Piss this guy off. Triple fist? Nah, fuck. What's up above Surge? That was weird. Okay. So I might do a little bit of grinding on screen. Possibly. All depends on how this upgrading part goes. Ooh, picks up. Oh, don't need to. Oh, they're really here. This time, let's shake it to them for sure. Yes, I'll do my best, Pepper. Let's shake it. Get ready. Just shake it, as Pepper would say. Alright, so what is this uh, tutorial going to teach us? This time we should not be beaten. I shall blow them away, blow them to pieces with one of these powerfully powerful elements you, brought, you bought me, Pepper. Well, the summoning elements, now we're shaking. I tragically tracking. Tragic, I hate to tell you this, Pepper, but... I just remember that I lost the, sh the summoning element I had with me. What do you mean you lost it? Don't tell me you dropped it, you dog ate it, or some other super excuse like that. Ask for a, good, a darn good shaking. I'm not that stupidly stupid, you know. Uh, actually, if you must know, that centipede monster in the Hydra March stole it from me. This is a hint on where to find the element, or the summon. Uh, since there are both innate yellow and only your innate can be equipped to it, you know that the centipede has a yellow innate summon, and you can go over there, and through project process of elimination from the summon, you figure out which one it is. That's cool. And I was enjoying that excitingly exciting expedition up till then too. Me, a centipede monster stole your element. Wait, snuck up behind you, picked your pocket? Oh, uh, okay. So they're going to basically demonstrate how trap elements work. Uh, so basically, you cast a spell, trap goes up. Now you cast a spell, and you steal it. Now, there are some enemies that will cast trap elements on you. I have never once, in my entire time of playing this game, which is a lot, have ever seen a successful capture from an enemy monster. To be fair, I generally kill them too. So... Yeah. Now you have to also keep in mind that if you steal an element, you can't automatically equip it or use it. 
you have to actually leave and re-equip it. But if you run away, you drop anything you've stolen. This includes elements. Pepper's getting pissed at Saul for not thinking ahead. He just stole a, a high-level black element from Pepper. Comedy! Alright, so... Saltier! He will drop an iron vest and, or a sky gin ring. Pepper will drop an Iron Mail or a Dragoon Gauntlet. You want that gauntlet. Um, Pepper, you can steal a Pendragon Sigil B or a Nostrum, which is a uh, tablet for darkness, but it heals a large amount of HP. Um, Salt, you can steal a Nostrum or Kung Fu Shoes. I want that... Uh, well, they're both pretty good. I want the gauntlet, but I can't guarantee I'll get it, so we'll see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and steal that Pendragon Sigil from Pepper. I guess I won't be doing any on-screen grinding. I thought the uh, gauntlet was a steal, not a drop. Gash salt. Throw a little salt in the wound. That's right, I said it. Keep it. And see if we can go for it. Come on. Greater Pendragon system. Nice. That's what it's called. I was curious what it was going to be called, if it was Pendragon or not. We can get those Kung Fu shoes later, so it doesn't really uh, matter to me. But Pendragon sigils are um, only gainable from certain bosses. And I'm curious um, what they're all called, since they're no longer Pendragon sigil B, or A, or C. Gauntlet. Yes! <coughs> Shake it out of here! Pepper! I love those two idiots. Alright, so I got a second gauntlet. So let's throw that on to. Yeah, what's great to do? Change one element to the last recede low to mid tier element. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Nope, nope. Hot diggity. Um, I don't want to go through all the hassle of finding all the items here right now. I'll just say that you can find Magma Burst, which we did. Tablet, which we did. Magma Bomb, Inferno Trap, Tablet, and Castle. Yeah, there's not really worthwhile going out of your way to go grab. So we'll come back later. Or I'll come back later to grab some of that shit. Side note, hot diggities. In uh, the home world, you can get the uh, Red Wolf summon from these guys. Get out of that lava, because I am at one now. They don't fuck around with lava in this game. Come on, Lava Boy, let's at least uh, see what your upgrade sprite looks like, I'm curious. Nice! Approve! Now let's kill it. Fire Breath. Okay. Fine. 
not really that difficult, so. actually have a relatively decent roster of healing items. Past me is a fucking idiot. Alright, let's try uh, pilfering him. Nice. Magic ring? Cool. I have auto fucking roll with the uh, steals in this game. Like, nine times out of ten, I miss with Kit whenever I try to steal. Not nine times out of ten, but like, uh, uh, six or seven out of ten, I miss. I've only missed once this entire place. So I'm happy with that. I was hoping for another magic ring, but we can skip too. In a bad lad. I'm sure I'll see you again. Thanks. Alright, let's go back and save again. Alright, so magic ring. How useful is that? Got two of them already. It's decent. It's definitely something I want to give to a mage character. So like Miguel. Miguel. That's far enough. 
Ah, oh, the, the Dragoon theme. Karsh? Huh? Is that you, Glenn? Why are you with these bozos, huh? Please, Karsh, we need to get through. I need to see... I need to see for myself what's happening. Even if it means leaving the Dragoons. Ha! <laughs> you call yourself a Dragoon. Now he just said he was leaving. But! In the name of the Acacia Dragoons, you ain't getting past here. This will be the end of you all. Alright, so... I don't know why they decided to do this. Zoa, in the original Japanese, obviously you can't write kanji, hiragata, or katakana in all caps. I mean, what are you going to do? Just make the symbols thicker? It, it doesn't really translate. Zoa just spoke with a very, very, um... proper inflection. Like, no uh, contractions. Very straightforward type of video. That's the best translation I can get for you. Um, I don't know why it's like he's screaming at us. I don't care about you, Glenn. And you search, I hate you. I hate your friends, your mom, your dad, your grandpa, your grandma, your great great grandma, your. I hate them all. I really I hate you. I despise you. I really, really abhor you. <laughs> Look at that, you can't stand you. Well then, it's time for you all to die. Alright, time to go through the list here. <coughs> Zoa, you, he will drop a golden ring earring. Guaranteed. Uh, you can steal a stamina ring from him, which I'm not really sure what that does. Karsh can drop either an eagle eye or a silver earring. And you can steal aerial blaster, which is a high level um, green spell. Or an Iron Axe. Not bad. Uh, Marcy can drop an Ice Blast, which we already know is good. Or an Iron Vest. Uh, she can also be stolen, or st have stolen from her, a Silver Loop, which is the uh, attack percentage. And Dancing Shoes, which I believe is the agility boost. I'm going to go for that Stamina Ring, because I'm kind of curious what the fuck it does. So, side note. Uh, Zoa and Karsh have a double attack. So we want to get rid of one of them as quick as possible. I'm going to weaken Zoa because he's the, he's the muscle brain. This way we can actually get a weaken. For a, uh, a steal. Oh yeah, uh, Zoa, 436. Karsh, 370. And Marcy, 525 HP. Ah, oh, damn! I keep forgetting Glenn's a beast! <coughs> Just... Out! Okay, so they must have gotten the HP mixed up because that was supposed to be 525. Just... We... Deleted Marcy. Like she's no longer in the game. I just destroyed her code. Still for Zoa. Thank you for the stamina ring. Geronimo! This is a level 2 tech. Cute. I feel bad for Marcy. Just ended her entire career. I knew it was going to do a lot of damage. I wasn't expecting a uh, one-hit kill. That was just nasty. Like, that was disrespectful. What I did to poor Marcy.
Bam. There goes Karsh. So as a side note, by the way, um, I decided I'm going to do what well, I'm going to do. I'm going to do this quickly. I'm going to mention this uh, in a second, or real quick, quickly. Um, since we're at this point, it might as well be a good time to explain it. Um, I do plan on uploading videos of the other paths for Viper Manor, as well as a video for what happens if you save Kit. They'll be in New Game Plus mode, so you guys get to see uh, basically both sides, as well as generalized strategy. Alright, so... Um, at level 15, you're supposed to get everyone's level 2 tech. Glenn's is kind of a weird placement, you're supposed to get underneath that. Let's see if you actually did learn it. Impossible! There's no way I'd lose! Karsh, it's almost time. Damn it. I'll get even for this. Bye. So yeah. Search now knows. Luminaire. Yeah, he learned it. No, he didn't. Weird. I'm, I'm gonna look that up. Nine times out of ten, you get their thing. Uh, red pen. Yeah, nine times out, search. God. If you proceed any further, there will be no turning back, none. Even so, you still wish to go? Keep going. I see. I won't stop you. But, don't die. Gonia. We're going to the checkpoint, which is just up this hallway. So yeah, everyone is supposed to learn their level 2 tech at 15. I'm curious why Glenn didn't. Um, there are a few, very few, who don't. And there are even less that actually need you to go on a quest to get them. So, it's kind of curious about that. But, that's going to be it for this set. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, advice on uh, preparing for the next part if you're playing along, which I do know one of you at least is. Um, collect Holy Light. There's an enemy coming up, uh, probably next set that uses this. Uh, same with, where is it? Inferno, Iceberg, we're probably going to learn that one. Be able to learn, use that one. Um, Volcano, you'll want to get. Basically, get, get bare minimum five trap spells for high level elements. You'll need them. So, that's going to be it for this set. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time when we'll continue from here. But until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye bye.